Hi YouTube, how are you? I'm doing great. I had one of the laziest days. I loved it. I needed it. So I just did like absolutely nothing just about besides feed my animals. But <laughs> so yeah, then tomorrow I'll feel more refreshed. It was raining anyway, really gloomy. So I figured, ah, I need the rest. I'm taking it. <laughs> so I have to force myself. It's really hard, really hard for me to sit still. I can't hardly stand it. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. I really am. Like I said, it was a wonderful day, but pretty soon it's going to be. Hello, YouTube from the frozen tundra of Minnesota. <laughs> so, yeah. There, but there's nothing cooler than the North Shore Lake Superior in the wintertime with frozen waterfalls. The water will run underneath them, but they'll be frozen on the outside, and it's just magnificent. So that's really cool. So, yeah. Oh, I had that Senator Elizabeth Warren on my mind again. She irks me because she got a job back in the 70s, like I was telling you, under the pretense of being Native American or a person of color. So, and Trump was going to pay her a million dollars if she had Native American in her. Well, he didn't have to pay her, so obviously she doesn't. So doesn't that mean that she fraudulently got that job? She lied to the American people. She's a senator. She's uh, supposed to be one of our leaders, a lying leader to get a job. And then she would owe the people the money that she's gotten paid. And how about being a senator? You, you get to be a senator if you're a liar? I think all these public officials, if they're caught lying, should have to pay back the funds they were paid. To do a service because liars don't get paid when you're doing a job to be honest you shouldn't be paid for lying isn't that right at least that's the way i look at it you know so to me this is uh ultimately a very big deal because this is the type of thing that goes on in the world that people just overlook and i decided to scream about it it's like no i'm not letting it go um I'm going to, oh, no, I was going to get crude for a second. No, nah, I won't, I won't lower myself. That just bums me out. What a piece of crap. That's what I was going to say. There's no DNA in crap. And she is no blood of mine, you know. And I'm going to ask some other natives, you know, what you thinking about that, you know. Are you happy that some person of English or German descent. No offense, everybody. I got, I got relatives over there to this day in England and German, um, all kinds of relatives everywhere. So I'm not dissing on anybody. I'm just making a statement and a fact of her bloodline not being anything to do with Native American. So that's, she lied. She lied to get a government job in the White House you know you don't lie to get a job and get paid in the White House you know it's like Bill Clinton I did not that woman oh yeah you did and you got caught and you had to like hit the hit the road buddy well that's how I feel about this Elizabeth Warren she wanted to go out to be president in 2020 she still does this lie of hers that we paid her for a long, long time to do a job um, on the pretense of a scam. She scammed the American people and, and she's still doing it. Maybe there's a lawyer out there that could um, like put this through to the president or put this through to the Supreme Court or um, Hmm. Maybe I should talk to Senator Mark 
update and I've got his email. I've corresponded with my um, senator and my uh, Congress people, state representatives and stuff like that on different issues like uh, wildlife and um, children, health care, you know, that type of thing. So, yeah, I've been pretty active, but yeah, I can't vote anymore. Um, I am a criminal, so I wasn't in prison, but yeah, probably because I told the truth, and so I got a lesser sentence. Well, actually, you know, I was a thief. I took money I shouldn't have taken from the state. I was desperate, and I was sick. Still no excuse, but, you know, that is just what I did, you know. So I can't vote, but here's this beep in there, you know. And this was when I was 40 years old. I had uh, my kids went into hell, and I just couldn't function as my normal self for a while. <clears throat> they came back three years later and needed my help. I had to get it together. Well, I already had started. I got another job and um, close to the house and had training and some other stuff, um, real estate and brokerage and that type of thing. And <coughs> Excuse me. So I was getting it together in another area. But, uh, you know, here's this political leader that can not only vote, for being a thief and a liar, but wants to become president and says she's native. Now that all that put together really pisses me off. I have a birth mother I won't talk to that's crappy in, in one respect. Okay, let's put it this way. Um, she's not supposed to vote, but she does. These people, and and you're not supposed to, period. If you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to. You know, and I could go get that turned around. Um, they said oh, it's a matter of making a filing a paper, but I don't care to. When I was, uh, I believe, 38 or 39, there was a parole. He was uh, running for president and they threatened him. He was the guy with the pie charts. A uh, businessman, uh, highly respectable um uh, successful, very large businessman with his um, money in a whole lot of areas, and he knew how to run a business just like Trump. That's the type of person that America wanted in, and <clears throat> so I did vote for him, and that's the only time I voted in my life, and so I really don't care if I do anyway, because as far as I'm concerned, there's not anybody that I would care to elect anyway so I'm not going to bother go filing that piece of paper you know so but anyway I just thought I'd talk about Elizabeth Warren Senator Elizabeth Warren the liar the white purely white liar that didn't get the million dollars from Donald Trump because she has no native so there's Native Americans. I think they've got like a 32nd bloodline or 32nd or 16th. That's not enough to get um, any kind of help through the um, Native American nations. But yet this woman claiming is going to try and lead the whole country. That's a big deal. So I'm calling on all natives, hey, um, aren't you offended that this woman from the bloodline that uh, gave us uh, smallpox blankets is up there lying, saying she's one of us? That pisses me off. Hell, it pisses my English Welsh bloodline off too. Yeah. So anyway. What a witch. Unbelievable. And she's still walking in and out of that White House like she belongs there. Well, I suggest she go move on the native, on the Indian nation. Go pick your, which one did you say you were? Um, 
Oh, you said you were Cheyenne? Was that it? Hmm. Why don't you go move on the Cheyenne Nation? Most of them ended up uh, Apache and Navajo cousins. You know? Most of Cheyenne are uh, dead thanks to that white bloodline that lies to get jobs. It's an important issue. So I'm going to let this one go through at that and please share it. I, I need, uh, I'm calling on some lawyer to present the facts that this woman is a liar and liars do not belong leading people of any nation. And that's a fact. And it's important. So please like and share. And thanks, everybody. I'll be back. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA.